What's up, YouTube? This is Josh coming at you, and we've got a different kind of video today. Um, we're going to talk about the Nintendo Entertainment System, but it may not be exactly what you think. Stay tuned. So welcome back in, you all. So uh, what I mean by that is uh, recently here, probably by the time I put this video out, a few, a few weeks back, a week or two back, I, uh, I had someone ask me about why I was chasing a full set. Now, the astute YouTube viewer here in the community will know that there have been a couple of videos put out by some YouTubers that are much larger channels than I. Uh, one behind me right here, Mort's Garage, did an, a fantastic video on uh, full set collecting. Um, it can't it can't be done any better than the way Mort does it. He just, he he's He's magical. Mort's magical, right? Um, another friend of the channel put one out as well. Iowa Retro Gamer Dad. Now, uh, Zach, over on his channel, he does a lot of monologue type of videos where he gets on and he, he, he talks about a hot take on something, a hot hot button question. And he kind of just elaborates on his opinion and then um, maybe some comments from other videos that that he has put and he's asked questions for. He, he runs them into and kind of kind of gets you thinking about different things, right? One of his biggest uh, things that, that has sent him on a path of success over the last year or so has been talking about video game collecting addiction, right? And, and how it's an addiction, just like a drug or alcohol or, or something else can be an addiction as well. So um, recently I had a, a comment that was left on a video. Um, I believe he's a subscriber or he was a subscriber maybe before the comment was left to my channel because I'm pretty sure I've seen him comment on other videos I've had before. But he asked me um, why I feel the need to collect a full NES set. <clears throat> and um, when I first read the comment, I was like, I don't know. It kind of felt like it was it a was it a comment of someone reaching out and saying, hey, you know, I'm asking a sincere question, or was it a comment of someone reaching out and saying, hey, dude, you're a, you're a poser. You're only doing this because a bunch of other people are full set collecting, and it seems to be the chick thing to do. So I'm going to mishmash two different things that I was going to make a video. Another thing that I was going to make a video for in with this too. So it'll be about two things. One will be the whole explanation of this whole thought process with full set collecting and how what my opinion is as someone who's chasing after a couple of full sets. And the other thing is to talk about actually the full set that I'm going to collect, that I'm working on collecting. Um, because there's a little confusion in that as well. So the question is, why do some people do this? If you guys have been following the channel uh, any period of time or even over maybe from the beginning, I don't know, or maybe it's only been recent, you know that I'm going for two full sets of uh, one for the Nintendo Entertainment System, one for the N64. Now, why would anybody in their right mind go for a full set? Uh, that's kind of the questions that these guys are asking. You know, what are the pros? What are the cons to it? Some people do this because they do it for content. That's strictly all they do. You can watch them. There are some channels on YouTube that have completed some full sets or that that are currently going for full sets. And they're really not doing it because their heart's in it or because they love the system enough to say, I want the full set. I mean, maybe they do love the system. I'm not disputing what, it, what anybody else's feelings are about it. But it's mostly for content, right? Especially for larger channels that are monetized and, they, and they, that's what they're doing it for. They're trying to make money off of uh, the content. So um, others do it as an investment. There are people out there that buy video games as an investment. And uh, whether you like it or not, hot take, video games are our collectible. Yes, they were meant to be put in the machine, played the stories, experienced and, and have, have fun with friends and family and just whatever. That's what they were meant to be. But they're still collectible, just like anything else is like collectible. You know, you guys that are out there that collect Hot Wheels or G.I. Joe's or He-Man, whatever you guys collect, Toy-wise, those things were toys. They were meant to be played with as well by some kids. They were meant to be beat up and tussled around and run through the dirt. That's what they were meant for. Video games were meant to be played, but they are a collectible. So whether you like it or not, that's the way the market is. People are nostalgic for things. That brings us into the other reason, the third reason why you would you would go for a full set because of nostalgia, nostalgia alone. And that's the reason that I decided to chase after these sets. Uh, these were the two... Uh, video game systems that had the biggest impact on my life. As a kid, the Nintendo was, I had an Atari originally as a little tyke. And uh, when Nintendo came out, it was absolutely mind blowing what it was. And, and, and it, it, it became such a big part of our culture in America in, in where I grew up as a kid. I mean, it, it was everywhere. It was on merchandising. You guys know, you've seen it. People collect all of those things that, that go back to the original Nintendo set from back in the eighties and the, in the 90s. Um, <clears throat> that's the reason that I decided to collect a full set for Nintendo. The whole story with that though, with both systems, to be honest with you, Nintendo 64 was the first system that I purchased with my own money. 
uh, I think I was 19, 18 or 19 when the system came out. Um, I was out living on my own. I'd saved up a couple bucks. I knew the system was going to drop and I wanted it. So I, I, I bought it and, and I have so many fantastic memories of the N64, just hanging out with friends, you know, partying, playing 64, uh, family would come over I'd, my, my niece and nephews and, and people would come over and we'd play the N64 together and just have a, a blast. And that's the, the, the nostalgia there for me with that system. So back about 15 years ago now, 2009, way before, you know, YouTube got popular way before a lot of these, these larger YouTube channels that are in our community, um, started going for full sets. I started collecting for Nintendo and Nintendo 64. Now, back then, I wasn't a, what I would consider a hardcore collector, and I wasn't really in, intending upon going for a full set of these systems. What I did was I went out and I bought a, a, a Nintendo. I bought a Nintendo 64. You see the boxes back here on the shelf behind me. And then I went through and started picking up games that I had back then because I enjoyed them and I wanted to play them again. As I started doing that, people, there was other people that, that were like, hey, you're collecting for the Nintendo or the Nintendo 64, here's some games, right? So I would have people give me games, like like straight up. Um, one of the big stories with my Nintendo collection, the biggest boom that I ever got to that collection was um, in that time period, back in like 2009, 2010, my wife um, had told someone that she worked with, hey, oh, my husband bought a Nintendo, he's reliving his glory days of his youth, right? Um, he's been buying games for it. Like a couple days later, they came in with this big ass plastic tote, probably like a hundred games in this thing. And that was like an immediate flush of that many games into my system. I mean, and there was, um, you know, a couple of, of really popular games in it. There was a lot of obscure stuff that I'd never heard of. And that kind of led me into um, really wanting to dig into the system more and into the N64 system to games that I had never played before that I knew nothing about that I didn't have back in the day when I was collecting for these these systems. Um, so that's kind of why I started, said, you know what, I've got 100 Nintendo 64 games now. I've got 200 Nintendo games now. I think I'm going to see what else is out there and just keep getting them. And as I've gotten more and more, I decided that, hey, yes, I want to chase after these sets. Now, there's pros and cons to this. And and like I said, if you want, if you want, you could check out Mort's video instead of uh, the commercial that's on the the screen behind me, right? But uh, um, he he does a lot better job with storytelling. He's a fantastic storyteller. So um, he's hit a lot of the pros and cons to it. But I, I wrote them down. I think one of the uh, some of the pros of playing, collecting a full set is that you get to play all these original, authentic games on original hardware. Um, it's not the same as emulating. People can say, "Oh, emulate." Yeah, it's a hell of a lot cheaper. But it's not. It's not the same. It's not the same feeling that you get for it. Now. Um, that's the reason that I would choose. That's one of the pros, I think, to collecting a full set. Another one is, uh, is, is you learn about the systems and the other games. You, 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 you gain a knowledge that you can't get by just throwing it on your computer and emulating the thing. As you're, as you're hunting for these things and you're searching them out and you're kind of learning more about the developers of the games and, and uh, you know, the artists behind the, the, the games, the game uh, artwork in the game, the, the cover art, all the kind of cool stuff that you get as part of that journey that you don't get by just slapping it on a ROM and popping it in on your uh, computer and playing it. Um, the whole journey is a pro of doing it. I mean, some folks would say maybe there's things about the journey that aren't good, but the whole journey, the whole experience, the whole growth of the whole thing is a pro. Uh, some of the cons for sure come down to the basic things of, of collecting anything. Cost, some of the stuff costs a lot. And, there, and with a full library like the Nintendo, and the Nintendo 64, you're going to get some crap games. There's probably like 20% of the library that just sucks that, that you're going to have to pay for if you want a full set. And some would say that's stupid. It's foolish to spend it. But guess what? When it comes to that money, that's my money. I could spend my money that I earned on whatever I want to, as long as it's not affecting my household, right? And it's not. I, I spend within my means within the hobby. I don't tell you what to spend your money on. You don't need to tell me what to spend my money on. It's mine. I can do it. I'm an adult. I go to work every day. I do what I got to do. I earn money. Space is another thing that is a con about a full set. You can't see the whole thing, but this entire double bookshelf that's behind me, almost every shelf on it is full of Nintendo games. And I've still got about just under a hundred more that I need for the license set to go. So, um, you know, I'm going to have to make some room and, and figure out how I want to organize it a little bit better than what I have now. But space is a big deal. Like my whole game room, is pretty well full. I don't have a whole lot more room for more games in here. I have quite a lot of games I collect for all the systems that I have that I have here hooked up. I don't I'm not really intending on going after anything new. 
any new systems. I'm not adding new consoles to the, to the um, game room because of that reason, because it's space and it's money. I'm already spending money into the consoles that I have, and I don't, I don't need to do that. But that's definitely a con. In the end, folks ask, you know, what, what is the intentions of it? So a lot of, a lot of uh, full set collecting has gotten a bad rap because certain folks within the YouTube community have went on to say, oh, I'm collecting a full set of GameCube, or I'm going to collect a full set of Nintendo, or I'm going to go collect a full set, you know, of Sega Genesis. And then they, they collect it and they document that journey because they're trying to make content. They don't really want the games. They don't really want, the, you know, that part of getting a full set. They just want to make the content and it's good content, right? A lot of folks out there are making good content, way better content than I am. I'm just an amateur at this, which leads me to the, to the back end of my argument on all of this. I'm a non-monetized channel. I'm not making money off of these videos. I'm not getting clout. I don't, I'm not deep into the social media. I'm not trying to build a brand here with this channel. All I am is a dude that likes to drink beer and play video games. That's the reason that I do this because I share that with you guys. And that's what's made it cool. If I wasn't sharing the, the, the collecting journey, if I wasn't sharing this hobby with all you guys out there, getting to meet cool people at conventions, getting just to, to chat with you guys in the comments, I wouldn't even bother doing this. Why would I waste my time creating these videos? You know, it feels kind of weird to even call myself a creator, but whatever, why would I do that? Because, you know, I, there's other things I can be doing with my time other than sitting here in front of the camera and then spending hours afterwards editing it and clipping things in and out and trying to make it in, it's somewhat entertaining. So the future, the end goal for me um, with those sets, I think they're very doable all but with the Nintendo. The, the final game of the sets, an impossibility for a normal person unless you you find a way to and, and then it's a question do you even want to spend that kind of money right the stadium events is ridiculous money nowadays leading into the other part of the video i was going to put a video out kind of showing hey as we get the nintendo games adding them to a list building it up i've started doing that in videos and i've confused the shit out of some of you guys because a few of you have remarked on it you're like wait a minute i mean like You've only got 29 games for the out of the 677 for Nintendo. So my problem with that was is I started to count up, right? With, with As I started laying them into videos with number one through, I think I'm up to 29 or something of that nature in the video. I, I, I'm showing them as pickups and talking about those games in those pickup videos or in those convention videos or whatever I was doing and adding them to the thing. I'm going to start showing off in other videos, doing a little bit more deep dive into these games that I have on the shelves behind me. That will build us up and show you how close that I'm getting for my set. I'm doing this for me, but to share to share the share it with you guys as part of the journey. So I think it would just be a cool way to document where I'm at with it. Currently where I'm at though, um, I believe the other day I counted it all up and I'm down to 91. I need 91 original Nintendo games. And then for the N64 set, I am down to, I think it was 43 that I need. Um, there's still some bangers in there. There's still some things that I'm gonna have to be creative with in order to um, make those purchases for those games. I'm going to have to to do some flipping. Um, you know, other good channels have shown that as well. I mean, it is what it is. On, I'm not a reseller. I don't I don't do this to make money. But but you have to figure out a way to make those kind of pickups work for you and your finances. And I'm not going to go out and spend two grand on Little Samson just out of my pocket, right? So I'm going to have to find a way to take some stuff. Either maybe it's some things that I don't play here, and I'll and I'll sell them and. Turn that over. Maybe I'll find some things at the thrift store, at a yard sales or something like that, and I'll turn that over and I'll I'll fund that money. That's kind of the way I fund mine anyway, just like most of you guys out there do. I'm not saying I don't come out of pocket for stuff sometimes, because I do. But a lot of times, if I buy like, if you see me do a huge pickup video, I'm like, hey, I just made this this collection purchase. I'm not. I'm I'm taking some money out of out of a fund that I have set aside for games, I'm, and I'm also maybe if it's a big purchase, I'm taking some money out of my personal finances, but it's not affecting my lifestyle, so I'm allowed to do that. But then I take stuff that I don't need and I flip it and get some of the money back or maybe even all the money. There's been some times where I did pretty well with a few things where I've paid like 800 bucks for something, been able to take a, quite a few good things out of that and then turn the rest of it over and get my $800 back. That's just part of the game. I don't know. I've rambled on long enough with it. That's just my perspective. For me, you guys out there enjoy what you enjoy and spend your money on it and I don't worry about it. Don't worry about what I spend mine on. Let's share the hobby together. I love seeing the pickups when you guys pick this stuff up. Uh, no matter what the systems are, it's just cool to see it because there's a lot of games out there I know nothing about. Um, I think you guys enjoy it too because I've ha I have a pretty good interaction usually through the comments with, with you guys whenever I make a post or I 
I put out a video or something like that. So um, I'll end it with the Expedition NES. You guys have seen the little tickers come up here when I show off whenever I pick something up, you know. I throw it up there and say, this is this game, you know, this is what I picked it up at or for, and this is what the game's about, and bang, we'll add this to the system. We're going to continue on with that in the videos. You guys are going to see them pop up, and, and it's a count up. It doesn't mean, it's not an accurate number yet. I'm not saying if I put this up and say, I've got 30 out of two, 677, that 30 is all I have, because I have more than that. But we're going to see show off more of it. I think it'll be some good content, some fun stuff too as well. And maybe you guys will learn something about the uh, NES library as we go through this. I'm going to leave it at that. I've rambled on long enough. You guys, everybody out there, hope you all are doing well. And remember, take care of yourself. Cheers.